Coffee Cat. Eight facts about this ragdoll cat. This is a story about a cat. His name is Coffee, and at the time of this video, he is two and a half years old. What type of cat is Coffee? He is a very intelligent and beautiful boy. He is a lilac point ragdoll cat. As with all true ragdolls, he has those trademark blue eyes and luscious fur. He is extremely curious, loves to explore and thoroughly enjoys it when his people get parcels delivered, chewing on plastic and hopping inside boxes and bags. Coffee follows his humans everywhere, and I mean everywhere, often ambushing and pouncing on them from his many hiding places. How old was Coffee when homed with his forever humans? Coffee Cat was born into the home of a lovely lady who had a whole litter of ragdolls and Coffee left to live with his new humans when he was just seven weeks old. This was probably too early as he probably could have done with more time with his feline family, learning and maturing a bit maybe. Most people say 10 to 12 weeks is the best. What about Ragdoll's growth and size? When they brought him home that first day, Coffee found a very small space literally inside the base of a lounge chair and it took a fair while to get him out. It was surprising how small the space he got through. He was so tiny that he fit into the palm of his mummy cat's hand back then, nearly pure white. But now he's a big, gorgeous, fluffy boy and he has changed colour to a mushroomy pink, brown tipped, white chested beauty. That mushroom pink coloration is what makes coffee a more rare type, a lilac point ragdoll. Ragdoll cats grow quite fast in the first 18 months of their life with unpredictable growth spurts. They go through a lot of colour changes in this time too. Both growth and colour changes can continue until four years of age and amazingly their colour can change with hot or cold climates. An average cat weighs up to 10 pounds but ragdolls can grow to twice that size. Coffee's mummy cat grew up with cats in her life and so when she became very ill, all she wanted was another one to love. Sadly, mummy cat's condition is terminal and with all the challenges she faces and the pain she feels, Coffee brings her many moments of happiness in an otherwise difficult journey. Does Coffee play a lot? Coffee likes to play heaps and over time his people have made up a lot of games, hide and seek and ball chasing and pouncing all over the place. Daddy Cat is very good at keeping him occupied while Mummy Cat sleeps and rests. Coffee Cat is an indoor only boy with a front and back balcony and courtyard to play in and he pops in and out, in and out, all day, every day. He has far too many toys but still prefers his very first toy, the fish you can see on the screen, a fish on a springy wire which he plops down for his people to play with quite often especially in the bed. He truly expects his people to play with him all the time when he's awake and he likes a lot of attention. He will meow very loudly if they are doing something that doesn't include him and he really likes meowing in the bathrooms where the sound comes out louder. He hardly ever meows on camera though so you don't get to see much of that on YouTube I'm afraid. Coffee enjoys cat TV on YouTube with the birds and the squirrels on the iPad. 
but every time he insists on searching behind and under the iPad to try to find the animals. He really thinks they're in there somewhere. Are all ragdolls floppy? Interestingly, even though ragdolls are often called floppy cats, like an actual ragdoll is, and they like being picked up and held, coffee is different. He likes a pat and a snuggle, and particularly likes to lie on feet and legs, but he doesn't like being picked up. It seems to be better if he comes on his own terms and initiates any patting or snuggling time. In some ways though, Coffee can be very laid back and relaxed, especially in some of his sleeping positions. It's so funny to see him lying on his back, all legs spread out in a rather undignified pose. He likes it when his people rub his tummy too and he'll flop down in front of them just for this reason. Do ragdolls like water? Coffee doesn't. Giving him a bath is not very successful and when he was about three months old his people learned this lesson the hard way and mummy cat still has the scars to prove it. So no, coffee cat doesn't like being in water, which many ragdolls apparently do. But he does find running taps quite fascinating. He also likes to watch the water run down the glass shower walls. But if he gets his paws wet, he does the funniest little shake it off dance and licks his paws almost immediately. What does coffee like to eat? Oddly, coffee doesn't particularly like fish to eat and can be a bit fussy with his food, preferring meat and chicken. The humans have experimented with different foods a lot over the last two years. Coffee has a tendency to inspect human food, but he rarely wants anything his people have, preferring his own treats and meals. He keeps a close eye on what mummy and daddy cat have though, kind of like he's making sure it's okay for them to eat. You can count on him to always come up for an inspection. Where does Coffee sleep? Coffee usually sleeps on our bed, the people bed, down at the, our feet. But when he was little, he used to take over the top of the pillows above the human heads. They found themselves having to move further and further down the bed as he grew. Coffee Cat has many sleeping spots around the house and he can be found in any one of many but he always comes when he's called. He's very good that way. He's also very good at working out schedules and how things usually go around the home and he pops up whenever his people are around, even at times when a human might like a little bathroom privacy. Coffee has given his people a lot of joy and Mummy Cat says she honestly doesn't know what they did before Coffee Cat came along. He has filled his human life so much and they absolutely love him. <laughs>